Before the summer season begins, there's a lot to do to get ready for it. Here were some clever ways to get your outdoor space spruced up. Please welcome back Monica Mangan. Hello. Hi. You. Monica, you got the outfit for I it. Do. You're ready, right? We're doing real work today. I like your boots too. Oh, very thank cool. you. I'm very excited. I am. I, I'm a huge spray painter. Oh, All right. Well, anyway, we're going to actually start. Have you guys heard of high heat spray paint? Abs obviously. Obviously, yes. right? This is great for, we have a fire pit here. It's a little rusty. It's from last season. It looks a little dingy. Right. You can actually totally breathe new life into it using high heat spray paint. This works on grills, fire pits. You want to spray just here, the outside, so not the no, inside. No, I do love it. I just usually wear my mask. I'm going anyway. to show you. Ready? So. It's hold on, and I'll lift it and show you. Oh. Totally can give it, bring it right back to life. So this whole thing would go from <laughs> yeah, give you a little just, a little, just yeah. a little bit there. Okay. It's such instant gratification. That's the thing about spray paint. We need it for instant people. Instant gratification. This works with heat, <laughs> grills, and it can totally just refresh it. You don't need to buy a new one every year. Now we can also paint patio cushions too, we right? We can. So. Fading How? is inevitable, right? At the end of the season, it's been out in the sun. It gets kind of dingy and faded. There's actually outdoor fabric spray paint. I didn't know, they have I didn't know about that I'm one. rocking your spray paint. Yes, you right? <laughs> and it's, it's not going to come off on your clothes? Nope, not going to come off on your clothes, and it's not going to feel crunchy. So I'm going to have you guys step back. Back up a little okay, bit. So okay, so I can do this. Your clothes. And I'm just going to show you. You're going to want to stay closer than you normally would with spray paint right. and do really smooth strokes. So going across like this. Great color too. You don't want to do that. too much at first. You can always come back and fill. Right. Okay. That See how is there's a amazing. little bit of resisting? The next coat will totally cover that. And then. Oh, it looks like that. Dun, 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 you look exactly that. Totally still feel like fabric. That is so impressive. Right? right? That's cool. Comes in a ton of different colors. So like for this one, it, since it was tan, we could have gone with tan just to refresh it. But you can also use it to change color and then you can mix up styles. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Mosquitoes everywhere. Oh How do we get rid of them? I okay, like, I, I thought know. something bad was happening. I didn't know what was huh? happening. I, didn't know. I was like, now he's self-inflicting wounds because of the whole issue. Uh, these mosquitoes this season okay. are going to be rough. How do we get I'm, rid of them? I'm, get, well, I'm getting perfect, a self-help book. Perfect teasing for us. All right, we are going to make organic citronella candles. There was but, one on your shoulder. <laughs> It's huge everywhere right now. Uh, so instead of using the chemical candles that just aren't very good for you, we're going to make some ourselves. <laughs> okay. So we have rosemary. We can slice mm. up some lemons and limes. Either one of you can do it. Sure. Okay, look, they're already done. Oh, okay. look at that. Yeah. You're so okay. good at that. Wow. Okay, uh -huh. I'm going to take a little jar, put it in there. One. Okay. One or two, doesn't matter. All right. Okay. And then you can take a sprig of rosemary, Ryan, if you want no, to. I'm kind. doing you it. Can. I, Either one. That's more than a sprig, but go ahead. Okay, it's an unvarnished spray. <laughs> yes, I know. Put that in. And then this is citronella essential oil, organic. This is the key. Okay, this is the key. You're going to do 10 drops into mm. there. Oh, it's like child-proofed. All right, hold on. Here, I'll be the child to open. Oh, okay. you. <laughs> Here we go. All right, 10 drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Close to 10, but give a smell. That was eight. Whatever. Yeah, we can smell oh, it? Man, yeah. yeah. Give a smell. It smells so good. Oh, it smells good, great. Right? Yeah. Really good. You can do a floating candle, a tea light in there. That's delicious. It's really good, and it's so much better for if you. If I was a mosquito, I would so want to swim in that and then mm. end that way. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's the way you want to go. That's where you want to go. Like, thing. I'm going to smash you, or you can go in the pool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the All lighting. Right. Let's talk about outdoor lighting. And this is a really cool hack that you can take an indoor lamp. Like, say you had this lamp. It doesn't work anymore. You can make it an outdoor lamp. So here's the key to this. You want to choose a shade that has this kind of attachment, the circle. Okay. Okay. Not this kind, because oh. it will be in the way. So what you're going to do is take it, pop it on, and then you know the outdoor solar oh, yeah, lanterns? Cool. The tops come right off. You can fit it right down in. Oh, gosh, I didn't know that. That's and then so cool. It could light right up. All right. That so at night, so it's cool. going to turn on. You could even clip the cord, like if it's one that doesn't work anymore. Mm -hmm. And it totally works with the solar. It's fun. Isn't okay. that fun? That yeah. one isn't here. Do this one. What about planters? <laughs> Hold it over. Okay, it's not working, but it does work. Okay, you're not. It's not working, it, it does work. Okay, stop it. <laughs> it's a mosquito on you. All right. All right, next. <laughs> Planters. You have, you know, your normal terracotta, all the different ones. Mm -hmm. I love putting plants in baskets. I think it kind of elevates it, adds a little extra texture. Yes. And you can do it to an existing basket that you have. You're going to line it with a heavy-duty plastic. This is like a painter's supply. You want, like, mm -hmm. probably like a five mil. Mm, and we're going to put mil. it in there. It's a thickness. Yep. And you're going to line oh, it wow, like this. Go. And then your plant can go in. And it just gives it, here's like a, a little more modern version of it for you. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to put it in there. Really cute, right? This is like a black planter that we did it with. Very really good. good. So cute. It is cute. 
before we take the break, the, I love these lights. So yes. what is the key to being able to put these in and not having them stand out? I guess not having them stand out, but also, oh, yeah. so here's the thing. These poles are a game changer because oftentimes you can only put the lights along your home because where right. are you going to attach them to? Right. So they sell these poles that you can DIY. You basically put them anywhere in your yard. And my tip is to put yeah, it down into so a ugly. planter sure. so they don't look so ugly. And you can really control where you want to put them because I right. like so when charming. lights more canopy over your outdoor mm -hmm. living space mm -hmm. versus just being in a straight line. So let's see how cute these look. Get ready for mm -hmm. it. Ta -da! Oh, yeah. So very, very, wait, wait, very charming. Wait, where do you charming. get the poles, clever girl? So you can get the poles at like a, a Lowe's, a home improvement store, anything like that. Or you can like get that. them right here today. We'll give you yeah. two. We'll be right back with more <laughs> summer tips after the break. Well, welcome back. Sorry, I was just getting my tarot cards read by Caroline Ray here I talking about what we were water signs and earth signs. Oh, my. Listen, we're back with Monica Mangan talking about things for summer. We're outdoor, the space, the living area. What do we need to do here to make it better? Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to give you kind of the building blocks to the perfect outdoor space. So we are starting here. We have our couch, which is very comfy, right? Oh, my God, especially with your shoes on. I love it. I love like an outdoor. What are you doing to my couch? The first tip is to start with a rug. What it does, an outdoor rug really grounds a space, kind of gives you a blueprint where, where everything's going to go, and mm -hmm. it makes it feel more like an extension of mm -hmm. the inside of your mm -hmm. home, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So next, we're going to add some chairs. So Ryan, you grab that chair. I'll yes. grab this one. Okay. And the tip for this what is that I grab? not everything needs to match, okay? So we don't need to be matchy-matchy with our decor. These were on clearance, so it was a great deal, and mix and match together. It's a great way to kind of elevate it, look more curated, and also save some money. I got to be honest, I thought they matched. I thought they matched. These match, These match but they don't doesn't. match the couch. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you can mix your chairs. Let's, 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 right. let's read it. So next, pillows. Same Pillow. thing goes with that. So you guys different can colors, add different, different patterns. colors, different patterns, okay, different, different textures. textures. Thank you, I Caroline. feel like I'm on a game show. It's so fun. All okay. right. Let's set this up. <laughs> we are going to oh, oh, oh. make it look so good. Yeah. I matched. Right. I instantly matched. Next. Oh, next. Look at that. I'm sorry. I have a dress on. Thank you. I wore a jumpsuit on purpose. Her daughter's dress. Next tip is table. She told me. Okay. So let's have you guys grab those two small side oh, tables I'll, that are don't underneath. Worry, I got those. I'm going to grab the coffee table. And tables aren't just functional, they're also a great place to add accessories, okay? Right? And also, somebody well, can sit on that, right? Each side. each side of the couch, I think, is where they would look great. Oh, sure. Okay. Meaning, Ryan. And then, Caroline, by. maybe a little bit. Do you want to grab some accessories? And I let's am so proud. This, this is my table. favorite <laughs> accessory. I, uh, I have a little. Small home goods obsession, and um, <laughs> I may own five or six hundred of these trays, but they make me happy. What do you They're do with complete. them? What do you put? What do you put in them? It's just that they come empty. That's the best part about them. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can fill them with stuff you don't need. All right, so we okay. have some accessories. We're some looking pretty good. Hold now on. we need some plants. Okay, so we'll grab some of the small plants. And while you guys do that, I want to point out over here that tearing your plants is a great tip. Look so we have you. tall, You're amazing. medium, and small. Oh. <laughs> See, I promise it's it. really easy. Okay, we're looking good, right? How are we feeling? Pretty good. This is, I will want to live in this outdoor living room. But it's, wait, it's there's like more. This. Oh, there's more. Oh, please, do you think I'm leaving? Oh, it's going to be like Caroline's in the garden. This tray. is the most important <gasps> part. Look at the tray. Right? That's the best. Uh, a bar cart a is a bar great cart. way. Bar so you don't have to be Everyone running in and out. Everyone loves a summer trolley. Um, I like great it. to see you. Good oh stuff. Oh my God, Thank lemonade. You. I'm having some imaginary lemonade. <laughs> lemonade. You are amazing. KellyRyan.com for all these great tips and more. And check out Monica Mangan on YouTube, right? Wait, yeah, what's your new, new series? What's your series is The Weekender, House of Style. It's all kinds of makeovers just like this. We'll be right back. Stay where you are. The bar cart. Want to know more about anything you see on live? Just go to our website at KellyRyan.com.